We want to use the binomial theorem to expand and simplify the quantity x squared minus 1 to the fifth power. So what that means is 5 is the first value, so for our first term we'll have 5, 0, and then our first term within our parentheses are x squared, so that will be to the fifth power, and our second term, which is negative 1, will be to the 0 power. Then we have the 5 still, but this time a 1, moving on to the next term. Our x squared, but instead of the fifth power, that's now the fourth power. Our negative 1 is increasing as we do the same to the first power. Then we have a 5 with a 2. This time the x squared decreases to the third power and the negative 1 increases to the second power. Continuing, we now have a 5, 3 with the x squared decreasing to the second power, the negative 1 increasing to the third power. A 5, 4 with the x squared decreasing to the first power and the negative 1 increasing to the fourth power. And finally, 5, 5 where the x squared is to the 0 power and the negative 1 is the fifth power. So evaluating the 5, 0, we get a 1. x squared to the fifth, multiplying that together, that's x to the tenth. Negative 1 to the 0 is 1. 5 over 1, that evaluates to 5. Then we have x squared to the fourth is 8 and a negative 1. 5, 2 is a 10. x squared to the third is x to the sixth. Negative 1 to the second is 1. 5 over 3 is 10. x squared squared is x to the fourth. Negative 1 to the third will be negative 1. 5, 4 is 5. x squared to the first is x squared. Negative 1 to the fourth is positive 1. 5, 5 is 1. x squared to the 0 is 1. And negative 1 to the fifth is negative 1. So 1, 1 and x to the tenth is x to the tenth. Negative 1 times 5 is negative 5, x to the 8th. 10 times 1 is plus 10x to the 6th. 10 times negative 1 is minus 10x to the 4th. 5 times 1 is plus 5x squared. 1 times 1 times negative 1 is minus 1.